A few days ago, I called the fake news the enemy of the people, and they are. They are there is a history in the, the way that uh, Donald Trump attacked the media as part of building the you know, crowd support. And it goes back to uh, George Wallace's campaign. Everywhere he goes these days, Wallace gives the impression that his real opponents in this election are not Nixon and Humphrey, but the polls and the press. Wallace spends almost as much time attacking pollsters and reporters and editors as he does the other presidential candidates. You newsmen have a fit run on over there. They are more interested in two or three pickets now the thousands of people here, and that's what they show on television. I covered uh, Wallace's campaigns uh, both in 1972 and in 1976. He would always require the press to be in a penned-in area, uh, surrounded by the crowds who would come, and these crowds would always be very raucous. And part of his uh, standard speech would be to single out reporters in the press, call them liars and so forth. The pointy-headed liberals, uh, of course the New York Times, they, they were the Moscow Times. He had a, a lot of lines. I remember distinctly one night, he pointed to the New York Times reporter. He started his long thing about the New York Times. They loved Fidel Castro and they're a communist newspaper and so forth. Um, the New York Times reporter that day had brought his nine-year-old son with him to the rally. And the nine-year-old son, so all of a sudden, sees this, so the crowd starts booing and hissing and pressing in on the pen and calling out at um, his father, the reporter, and it was terrified. The little boy was terrified. You know, finally the night ends and we, the reporters, we all go back to the hotel and um, George Wallace's press secretary comes in and he says to the New York Times reporter, he says, uh, you know, Governor Wallace wants to see you and your son. Mm, so they go up. So he came back about 15 minutes later with his son and he said, it was amazing. He said, I got there and uh, knock, they opened the door and, and Governor Wallace was sitting in the chair and he says to my son, he said, come on over here. So the boy walks over. Wallace picks up the boy, puts him on his lap and he says, son, you know those things I said about your daddy. Don't pay them. No, never mind. That's just politics. So he had this kind of attitude about how it was all a charade, that he was acting his part and I was acting my part and that it was kind of all a big game. What he didn't recognize really until years later was uh, the damage that was done by that. We got nine or 10,000 people in here. They'll talk about one guy or two guys, headline, Trump had pickets, they had like three people. There's what we're seeing outside. with President Trump is uh, something very similar. It may or may not be just politics to President Trump, but the consequence is that once more, you create a situation where the, the uh, ability of the press to hold power to account is severely eroded.